Hey, we're back. I'm Bruno. This is Clementine. Hi. And I have to say that I'm kind of totally enjoying this because uh -huh. you're from the dark side. <laughs> like, you know, from what I used to do for a living, primarily one of the things is you're kind of on the other side. Yeah. That we always kind of said, that's what happens, but you're kind of saying that that's what you know, Like you're like the Wizard of Oz. And the reason why I say that is this, this episode is, uh, is uh, captioned as, um, you know, kind of new beginnings. Yes. Right? New starts. What we're talking about there is the career transition slash outplacement. Yep. Most people don't even know what that is. Yeah. So before we go into proper transitioning, what is that in a nutshell? So outplacement or are basically kind of programs that companies will provide their employees at the time of exit. And often organizations provide these outplacement services to help mitigate risk. So if the employee were to come back and, and sue the organization, it shows good faith that they tried, did everything they could to support them, find another position. Um, and it's you know treating your exiting employees with respect. And I think the important thing to realize is when we bring anyone onto a company, it's never done in poor faith. Like you never have a new a new hire come on and you think, well, I can't wait for this to fail. Yeah. Um, and you come on and, and and whenever there's a new employee, it's they're brought on with excitement and you know there's a there's a there's a uh, desire for this to work out. And when it doesn't work out for whatever reason. Uh, I think it's just important for organizations just to remember that that person was brought on in good faith and to, to treat them with respect on the on the going out uh, mm -hmm. path as well. Well, it's funny, and I'm going to get this totally wrong because one of our former guests, uh, Arian, who's a psychologist, he's like, Bruno, you're getting it all wrong. I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm going to try. Yeah. But, you know, like a, a whole career in a job, right, uh, and I'm not saying fraudulently getting rid of you, but it, it's almost like the stages in narcissism. You know, because the first one is love bombing. And to your point, like nobody talks about ever discarding an employee yeah. during the love bombing stage. And I think, you know, what... Is I that think, brilliant? Yeah, it's brilliant. But okay. I think what exactly, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what matters, you know, the, how we end a conversation matters. And I think, you know, the best way I describe it is like marriage. If, if it ends in divorce, we often kind of think of that whole time as that, that kind of ugliness at the end. Mm -hmm. And the same thing happens with terminations. And I think that organizations have the ability to, uh, you know, control that narrative a little bit and have that exit, uh, soften the blow of that exit and, and have it leave on a respectful note. Mm -hmm. And one of the best ways they can do this is by incorporating outplacement. And lots and lots of organizations do incorporate outplacement. I think one of the pieces when it comes to terminations is and that a lot of kind of especially smaller organizations don't realize is that there's two laws at place. There is at play. There's the Employment Standards Act and there's common law. So if you are under the Employment Standards Act, um, you might be qualified or eligible for, for two weeks of severance, okay? So if I give you your two weeks of severance and terminate you uh, without cause, uh, out the door you go. And then if you sue me back, the law changes and it flips to common law, which looks at precedent. And that takes a whole bunch of factors into consideration. It takes your age. It takes what you were doing if you were at mm -hmm. a senior management level. It takes how difficult it will be for you to find another position. And it looks at other cases that have been tried in the courts and what their outcomes were. And what common law does tend to look favorably to is if organizations do provide outplacement services, it shows good faith from the company's perspective that they did what they could to try and help you secure employment mm -hmm. by putting you in touch with a professional who could give you the tools to, to enhance and optimize that process. Well, one of the things that I always tell hiring managers, you yep. know, because they think just because, again, just like reading resumes as opposed to writing. I don't, I don't write resumes. I don't do that. But as a recruiter, they kind of build trust with you mm -hmm. and, or just anything, a doctor or and they say, I got to get rid of Clementine right now. And it's a, you know, we're going down downsizing and all that kind of stuff. What do you think I should do? I think, you know, sorry, uh, what I think you should do, and I'm not just endorsing your service, yeah. is immediately talk to somebody like you guys yeah. at Resume Restorations. And you might laugh at this one because you shared something about lawyers, right? Um, I'm going to tell you something. A good employment lawyer should be charging five to $700 an hour. And they're going to tell you exactly the same thing as you're going to tell them in a sales call to try to become their provider. Am I right or wrong? 
Well, it depends on the nature of the situation. No, no, no. I <laughs> no, just I'm trust me. I stay within it. <laughs> no, but 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 the basics. I'm talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. The basics. I yeah. mean, how 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 difficult is it? You, you're going to owe the money, or you're not going to owe the money. Yes. That's yes. it. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to steal your stapler. Yeah. And and I'm being very serious about this, is because if you're confronted as a hiring manager or a company that has to, you know, uh, fire a, an employee. Yeah. Right. There's you're going to, and you're talking to somebody like you, you're going to get a wealth of information and all of a sudden you're going to figure this is a little bit trickier than you thought and forget about good faith. You just want to get this done yes. as an employer, yes. right? And I think your first call should be and have a trusted outplacement partner. I, I completely agree. And I'll, I'll explain maybe how our outplacement's a little bit different. Sure, because I know you have a whole bunch of resources too. We have a ton of resources. So our program, our outplacement, is basically eight hours that are completely customized to meet your needs. So whoever the exiting employees, we work with them directly. It's all one-on-one. -on -one. There's no pre-recorded webinars that the exiting employee has access to where they can learn how to write a resume. We do it with you. Mm -hmm. It's collaborative. It's in real time. Uh, and we completely provide you the services that you require, whether that's career coaching, whether that's personality assessment mm -hmm. uh, profile, you know, Myers-Briggs certified, whether it's, you know, resume support, cover letter support, helping you with your LinkedIn, helping you with interview preparation. We meet your needs and completely cater ourselves to you. The other thing with our outplacement service is we only charge you if the uh, exiting employee makes contact with us. And I think that's another way that we differentiate ourselves from other outplacement services. Mm -hmm. So if you provide that exiting employee with outplacement, if they don't make contact within the parameters of the um, agreement, then there's no charge. Yeah. I want to clarify what I said, not, not take it back. Yes. All I'm saying is that when you're confronted with this situation, yes. you cannot go at it alone. So either use a lawyer or either use your outplacement. At some point, going at it alone thinking you saw it on TV yes. and how to do it, it's going to get you in a lot of financial trouble. But you're right, and I think I think it's because so many so many people kind of default to the Employment Standards Act, and that's not where it ends. So as I mentioned, mm -hmm. you know, if you if you as an exiting employee turn around and sue me, the law changes, right? right. And it, it flips that common law, and you need to have an understanding of of uh, what kind of financial considerations are mm -hmm. are included within that common law shift. So I also, I also did that for all my lawyer friends out yes. there. I was like, what are you doing? Throw all my business around, right? Because, you know, we, 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 you know, I've dealt with employment lawyers and, you know, I make no bones about it. One of, one of my lawyers, my, I think she's amazing and this yes. and that. It's not, you don't need a lawyer, but there are different aspects that you yes. need to look at. Yes. And each one has a separate cost, right? Absolutely. So um, now I find it absolutely, what's the word? Stupid. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. When people are offered outplacement services and they go, well, they offer me all, well, I'm not going to use it. It's a bunch of bullshit, right? Yeah. Why? Why do they do that? I, well, I think it depends. You know, we've had a lot of clients who have um, utilized our services and have been provided outplacement mm -hmm. services in the past. And they've said to us, um, you know, not to toot our horn, but, you know, maybe a little toot toot. They've said that our, our well, service Well, I mean, this is why you're here is yeah. because you were different. <laughs> You guys yeah. have provided different yeah. services. and that our services is, is significantly better. And I think a big piece of this is because so many outplacement services, as I mentioned, are these pre-recorded sessions. And if you're going to, you know, be provided, you know, 15 hours of pre-recorded sessions on, on yeah. you know, how did your resume, oh, I don't know. I, I, I can see why some people don't take advantage of that. Um, but I think majority of people who, well, all of the clients who've been, who've participated in our outplacement, they've had great results and, um, you know, they've been really happy with this, with this process. And I think a big piece of our whole company, Bruno, is that we, we're, I, if people ask me what I do, I, I literally say I'm a glorified cheerleader. And I truly believe that we kind of inject some excitement and some positivity in this otherwise somewhat daunting and overwhelming time in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're working with professionals who are, you know, more seasoned professionals who might have been provided different opportunities to start their career predominantly through networking. And then all of a sudden they're entering this world of being a job seeker where you have to understand different types of applications and, you, you know, and, and how that works and, and modifying your resume mm -hmm. and, and writing a resume. We have so uh, many clients that don't even have a resume. And it's so overwhelming. And just to know that, you know, they have us on their team 
and that this process can be fun and it can be exciting and it can open up so many opportunities. Uh, you know, I think that's a, a big piece of our company and our success is that we do bring that, that excitement into the mix, whether it's through outplacement or if you're a job seeker using our resume services. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this with confidence is that, you know, I don't use the word traumatic very often. But if, think about it, especially if you're, well, it doesn't matter what level, but especially if you're on the senior level and it's action and you got two minutes for a video call and, you know, my kids make fun of me all the time because I'm like, you know, I do pick up when they call. Yes. And I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm on a video call. I got to let you go. Like, you know, like that's, yes. that's your life. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden somebody walks in and goes, that's it. And you click and you watch a video and there's no more noise. There's no more action. It's you building a resume on an online module. Yes. It's traumatic. It is. There's a, there's a whole kind of mental component when it comes to this world. And, um, and then you can go through, you know, applying for jobs and not hearing back and the disappointment that goes with that and the frustration that goes with that and the emotional components of, you know. You know, I think what a lot of people don't realize is that their career often becomes, for so many of us, such a huge part of our identity. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when that's taken away, it's huge. And I think that what a lot of job seekers need to realize, especially in this market, is it, it is a job getting a job. And they have to take the time to a, a, approach this transition period seriously and strategically so that they can land that next career that, again, will become part of their identity. Yeah. And they'll be able to, to kind of you know, involve themselves with and, and really inject themselves into. Um, but it, it takes time and it takes, uh, you know, patience and, and it does take time. It, it's, well, you know, I, I'm going to, you know, thank you very much for coming on here. I know we're going to have different conversations later because I love being able to, this is kind of like the area of, uh, you know, what I've done um, is, you know, people are saying it's the great resign. And I'm thinking, you know, that's almost sounds too negative for me, right? In this business, the yeah. right? Yeah. So the great resignation, your great resign. And I'm saying, I think it's a great time to great to have a great redesign yeah. for your, because it's not going to be the same ever, ever, ever again. It's never going to be the same. Yeah. And take the time, especially if you're using an outplacement service, take it to redesign what you're all about and what you want to do. Right? Yeah, so. absolutely. I don't know, does that make any sense? Absolutely it does. Like we have a client right now who's interviewing at Google at, to complete pivot in their career and they're now interviewing at Google. Mm. We have another client um, in our outplacement who just turned down a job because it was exactly like the job he'd done for the past 10 years and he's recently got an MBA and he's like, you know what, on the up and up. Let's I, do it. Yeah, I want, I, I'm looking for more. And it's this time of, exactly, it's excitement, you know, it's, it, you can kind of pause and assess where you are and assess where you've been and really strategically identify where you want to go. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. As you can tell, I like this stuff. So, yeah. um, and I think the reason why I've enjoyed it is because it's, it's multidimensional, it's exponential, it's not linear, it's all over the place. Oh yeah. Right. So there's never a real good answer for anything. Right. So, um, Clementine, thanks. I know we're going to get back together in, uh, another episode. So Thank thanks you. again. All the information is under here. Resume restoration. Yes. Dot. CA. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for having it's us. Two letters. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't afford the dot. So anyways, anyways, thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks.